histology of the liver. Firstly, whenever we're talking about anything to do with the liver, we can say hepatic or liver cells or hepatic cells. They mean the same thing. So I'm going to do two diagrams here. It's mostly going to be annotations. So first up, let's start off with a bit of context. My pens are going to work, that is. Okay, so we can say liver tissue is made up of, they're roughly hexagonal or cylindrical things. I'm going to call them hexagonal cylinders. So they run vertically and they're sort of hexagonal in cross-sectional. And these are called liver or hepatic lobules or lobules. And they have a central vein, which connects up to the hepatic vein. They have hepatocytes. So these are the cells of the liver cells, basically. These are the cells in the stain diagrams or stain micrographs you see where you can see the nucleus. And then together, we also have the hepatic artery, the hepatic portal vein, and the bile duct. Okay, so I'm going to give this a go at drawing it. I'm going to start with the central vein in the middle. Everything kind of drains into that. Now, the hepatocytes are going to be the things that I'm drawing with the cells with the nuclei. So it's going to be roughly hexagonal. They're going to look pretty weird. They kind of can be branched like this. And we just can draw cells. And these are all going to have nuclei. So let's draw a few more of those. So on the stain diagram that we can see, we're going to be able to see basically the hepatocytes are the ones with nuclei. So I'm going to draw this roughly hexagonally. At the end of these kind of like channels that we have here, we have the gaps between them. And we're going to sort of draw a different version of this diagram because it can be drawn in two different ways. At the end of these, we're going to have our hepatic portal vein. We're also going to have our hepatic artery, which is smaller, remember? And we're going to have our bile duct, which I'm going to do in green. And in the gaps, the channels between the two, we can also draw these things, which I'm going to draw They're pretty randomly shaped. They've got a larger elongated nucleus. So I'm not going to draw that many of them. These are called cut for cells. There's not many questions on them. Okay, so let's annotate this up a little bit. So we've got our trio here. Sometimes these are called triads, but because there's three things there, we've got our, let's start at the top, the bile duct. Got the hepatic portal vein. And we have our hepatic artery. Then the gap between these things is called the sinusoid. Within the sinusoid or sinusoid, we have these funny looking cells and these, as I said, are called Kupfer cells. These cells are called the hepatocytes. They're the cells that you can actually see. This would be another big sinusoid. This is the central vein. This whole thing is obviously the hepatic or liver lobule. So there's sometimes diagrams that look a bit like that, pretty difficult to draw. You may find I've included uh, in this lesson as well, some stained, in fact, I've made them black and white because that's how they'll appear in your exam. The sort of micrographs, what these things actually look like. So you can see the translation between the diagram and what these things look like and how you might get them in the exam. Okay, now if we're going to zoom in basically on one of these channels here, it's going to look totally different, but it's a, it's a representation of the same thing. I'm going to start with the central vein. I'll keep my colors the same. So central vein is in blue. It's got a few things joining into it. Well, on the top side, we've got our bile duct. So this is going to be in green. 
these are surrounded by hepatocytes. So these, these cells here are surrounding it on all sides. I'm going to draw them relatively big just because I have to draw fewer of them that way. The exam paper that I copied this from has small cells around here. I don't know why, it's just how it's, how it's drawn. Okay, and then we've got this major channel here, which is, I'm going to draw in black for this bit. And it's going to branch. But when the two branches join, we call it the sinusoid. And we're going to draw the two branches that connect onto it are going to be one from the hepatic portal vein. And the other branch is going to be from the hepatic artery. Again, on the exam paper, that's drawn little hook on the end. The direction of flow for these things, remember the liver makes the bile, so we can think of that as being exporting the bile. And both of these guys are going, the blood is flowing from the hepatic portal vein or from the hepatic artery towards the central vein. So they're the directions. We're gonna draw some more hepatocytes. And then within the sinusoid, we have these funny shaped cells, so we can draw one of these in here as well. It's actually got a larger nucleus than the hepatocytes, which is one of the reasons we can identify them. They've, they've never asked this, but who knows, they're tricky bastards. They might well um, throw one of those in because this is something they've been asking in the past. Okay, right, let's label this up. You have the bile duct. In fact, you should really call it a branch of the bile duct. We have a branch of the hepatic portal vein. And we have a branch of the hepatic artery. We've got hepatocytes. This is this, uh, the central vein. And we have this Kupfer cell. So they're the things you need to be able to identify. These are basically two very different styles of drawing of the same thing. We can see we've got the central vein and the hepatic artery, and then the branch of the bile duct. These are sort of all flowing in here. It's just they're, they're weird diagrams. This is kind of what you see in horizontal cross section. If you kind of zoom in a bit more, then you, you can see this kind of structure as well. So let's put this in some sort of note form, the only bits of information that you need to know. So this is a liver lobule or lobule. This communal, in fact, the bit that's in black here, which I've not labeled, is the sinusoid. This is pointing at the black section where these two join. We are going to put some notes on these though. Okay, so let's say the sinusoid is where the hepatic artery and the hepatic portal vein join. I'm actually going to say combine. They flow towards the central vein. As the blood flows through these, the hepatocytes break down the harmful substances. I'm going to call them toxic because the process is called detoxification. Let's give an example. We could say alcohol, they like paracetamol as an example of drugs. We can say metabolic waste products leave via the central vein. We can say that the central vein join, the central veins join up to form the hepatic vein. And finally, we can put a note on cup for cells. Uh, I will put them in. What do we need to know about these? Well, they're in the sinusoid. 
So they're going to be in this channel here where the, the two, the hepatic portal vein and the hepatic artery have joined in that lumen. They basically break down bacteria, the type of macrophage, a bit like phagocytes. They can also break down large molecules. And I'm just going to put similar to phagocytes. You can kind of think of them that way. If you do need to identify them, they're going to be weird shaped cells. They're irregular, not looking quite like the others with a larger nucleus. The hepatocytes are the cells that you can see with the nucleus, no matter how you're looking at them, that's how they're going to appear. The biggest uh, lumen in here is going to be the central vein. Next up, we're going to have the hepatic portal vein. Um, these are both going to be flowing, the blood will be flowing from them along past the hepatocytes, which are going to do the breaking down of stuff. We're then going to produce bile in also in the hepatocytes, but you don't need to know that. And that, that's going to move in the opposite direction. Generally speaking, you're going to see it this way around, but this is at a cellular level can be a bit messy. You can't really see what's going on exactly. Just for symmetry, I think I'm going to throw another cup for cell in here. There's very few questions on cup for cells and identifying them from a stained micrograph is very unlikely to come up. That's it.